Good morning. Ghostbusters. Thought we'd get it out of the way earlier. Yeah, we're not actually doing any features about that today, are we? Did you just choose to wear that shirt for no reason? It's actually a hoodie, isn't it? Whatever. Anyway, coming up on today's episode, Greg, we have Jason versus Greg, in which we are up against the time. There's the fridge of fame. There's some farts, and there's some other stuff as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I, I can't believe we're going to announce this. Is this like a big announcement? Yeah. We should have we should have actually said this in the intro, shouldn't we? <laughs> Why don't you just speak to the editing department and ask them to put a fanfare in? I'll see if they've got one. All right. Ready? You, let's wait. Let's listen. So if we just went like that then and there's no sound, the editing department couldn't find a fan, fanfare? Or... That was brilliant. Yeah, that what was a great, great thing. That was for this huge announcement. We are going live. <clears throat> I don't mean we are going live the Saturday morning TV program, but we are going live on Saturday morning with our little TV YouTube show on Saturday, December the tenth. We'll be broadcasting live on Facebook our episode of Tea and Toast. This could be a disaster. It could be a disaster. I'll tell you for why. Why? Because most people write some horrible comments. That's one. And I'm terrible. You know me. I write all them bad comments. Number two, we swear all the time in this, no, but it's don't. heavily edited, isn't it? No, we don't. Yes, we can do. Get the, get the thing. What? Get the thing out. What? The thing. What are you pointing at? The address. Oh, this here. Yes. Oh, sorry, Jay. Oh, for good sake. There you go. For our live episode, we are going to need lots of uh, things from you. Pictures. Um, pictures. How about some pictures? What about you send us some pictures for the live episode? Do you know what would be really good? What? Pictures? Yeah. Then we could do like a vision on thing. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. How are you going to play do, that do. live? I'll just do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be terrible. It's going to be what amazing. Are <laughs> Why are we doing this? So please send us your pictures to uh, tnt at totgoo.com. That's tnt at totgoo.com. And tell them what it doesn't have to be in, Greg. Capital. It doesn't have to be in capitals. Well, what time are we going on then? Because I don't even know this. We shall go live at 10.30am on Saturday, December the 10th. There'll be lots of interaction. You can send us questions uh, about the things that we're talking about. You could tell us some 80s tales. Please don't swear at us or say that Greg's not very good because he gets upset. Don't you? What? When has anyone said that? Never. So that's uh, Saturday, the 10th of December. Greg, <laughs> we're going live. It's exciting, isn't it? What looks that, Jason? I've got that out. What? Again? Up against time, Greg. Oh. Do you remember this game? Nope. Oh well, I'm sure there are lots of people who do, Greg. It Up looks very time, 60s and 70s to but me. But ideal game is 70s and 80s. I remember playing in the 80s. Woolworths? Oh. No, Woolworth, before they put the S in it, 499. 499. Hey, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Flipping heck. Uh, by Ideal Games. Now, Greg, the idea of this game is you've got to stack as many of these little blue barrels as you can on top of each other before this ball bearing comes down there and knocks them all down. If you manage to stack them all, you knock that across like that to stop the ball bearing knocking down your tower. But they've got different shapes in. Yeah, that's the game, Greg. You've got to look what shape is on that one. Get the right one ready. I mean, it's terrible to watch, isn't it, this? But, I mean, it's fun for us, isn't it? Yeah, we're having a laugh, aren't we? What's this special barrel here? I don't know. Why is it a special barrel? I don't know. I'm sure there's something in the rules about it, but... It's like a first thing, because I've always spotted it. Are you ready, Greg? Yes. Up against time. Jason versus Greg. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh Greg, oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming down the thing there. It's on the third one already, Greg. Four. Come on, Greg, how many have you got? One, two, three, four, five. Come on, Greg. 
six. Oh, it's coming! It's coming! It's coming! One, two, three. If it if it gets knocked over, Greg, it's devoid. So you've got to decide whether to put that off or not. You got to put it off. Surely that doesn't count though, because it went down before. I put it down for you. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Teamwork. So One, I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. I'm nine. I'm not sure if I can allow it, Greg. Oh, I bet if you get seven, you won't allow it. <laughs> I must think I'm stupid. Don't say anything. I'm not going to say a word, Greg. So let's start off with that one, like okay. I did for you. Do you want me to do the ball? I beg your pardon. What do you do? Wait, in there? Yeah, when, when I'm ready. What are you standing up for? Because I feel like I need to. That's pathetic, isn't it? You ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, Greg, what are you doing? Listen. Come on, Jace, if you, want, if you want me to do that, I've got it for you. It's near there. It's not. It's it fine. is. Why is that going slow? How many is that, Greg? Well, that's one. Oh, you absolute. Oh, it was. I'll get him. It was one, two, three, four, five. You didn't know that one. Six, Six seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I? Can I just say one thing though? Can I just say one thing if before you stop you... drinking? You can. Yeah. No, no. What? what? Oh, morning o'clock again. I, I, I've never played this game in my life, whereas you clearly have. I didn't even know what you had to do Greg, until you just explained it. It's been sat over there for a year. Yeah, but I haven't touched it. Neither have I. Oh, come on, you've played that before. You explain the rules. Do you think I come into the shed and practice these games? It's not a shed. This is a studio. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a little slip. I know. Shed. I mean, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's not fair. I think we should do best of three. No, I won. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? That makes it three, two to me, Greg. It doesn't. That's not fair. <laughs> yes, that's that's like, no, that is like, you've come in here, you've been rehearsing and practicing, I and haven't. then I come in and go, what are we doing? And you go, this game here. I haven't been practicing, Greg. It's like when I play squash against you, I constantly hammer you at squash, and you lose. Let's play squash then, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't have that. So you've cheated, and I'm well, not having it. Let's, then, let's bring the director in. The thing about squash is, Greg, that, that doesn't really matter right now. This is Jason versus Greg. Bring the producers and the directors in from the, the sound booth. They can't. Why? I've locked it. That's 3-2 uh, in Jason versus Greg. What are we doing next week? Don't know. Should we go bowling? Yes. I thought I'd be quite sad to see this go, but I really am not. No, not like the last one. No, that was brilliant. Although, the long goodbye fart from last week, that, that was, was a good one. pretty yeah. good. So we've got one last fart left in Farts the Spotter's Guide. Great. It's called the Aftershock, or if you're posh, the Aftershock. Aftershock? Yeah. Would Shall you like I to read the uh, read description? Read the nonsense? Yeah. Once thought physically impossible, the aftershock remains one of the most unusual emissions. Always a surprise visitor, this eruptive species travels exclusively in flocks, usually among larger species. Well, let me just tell you, number one, you've been drinking again, and number two, this sounds fantastic. The skid marks are it's a rare species, distinguished by alliance with others, surprisingly overt in appearance. This is going to be brilliant, Jason. Number 10, the aftershock. This is the final aftershock. one of the spotter's guide to farts. Here we go with the aftershock. For the final one, that's the one they chose. I quite like the bit after, though, if you listen to it. I think you should remind them of last week's. What do you mean? The long goodbye? Yeah. Well, that's the end of another chapter of Farts, Greg, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. Next week, we've got Jurassic, Jurassic Farts. Farts.
This better be better than that one. I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, we're giving up on the fart books. We might have to follow through with something else. So, so, <laughs> Jason, I watched Independence Day Resurrection last night. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Or have you just made that up? No, that's what it's called. All right. And let me just tell you, it's not a review, by the way. It's just terrible. But the name made me think, why don't you resurrect something from what we used to do? See what I did there, Jason? You not, you got no idea what I'm talking about? What, like? Well, there's something that we haven't done for ages that you used to do on your own. Um, that comedy thing they used to do. Do you remember? Oh, Jason's quick comedy clip. Yeah, why don't you put that back in? All right, here it is. Wasn't it nice to see Clint Eastwood get an Oscar for a Western? Because, I mean, he is good at them, isn't he? I mean, uh, they've got the names, haven't they, the Americans? Tex, Clint. Imagine an English Western. Go for your gun, Malcolm. <laughs> Why'd you shoot me, Kevin? You ready? Why do you pretend you hate this bit? Because I do. Because you haven't even got a joke on the card, Greg. Jason, it's the illusion. It's all in memory. I remember everything. It's not written down here. Jason, I'm always dropping my cough sweets. Really? I can't hold a tune. I mean, it's been like more than a year now, Greg. And you haven't told one decent joke. It's time for a commercial break. Hey, Mr. Oh. Beaver. Why are you beavering around? <laughs> Haven't you heard of Cadbury's Caramel? See, as the thick Cadbury's milk chocolate melts with that dreamy caramel, you just have to take things really easy. <laughs> Looks like somebody else could do with some. Take it easy with Cadbury's Caramel. Way down deep in the middle of the Congo A hippo took an every caught a rubber and a mango He stuck up with the others and he danced a big tango The rhino said, I know, we'll call it Umbango Umbango, they drink it in the Congo The python picked the passion through the mammoth Said the mandarin, the pirate painted pandas Got the hunk of goo land it is So when it comes to sun and fun and goodness in the jungle They all prefer the sunny funny one they call Umbango Libby's Umbango High juice drinks Free from artificial ingredients Still no fridge. <laughs> your fame without yeah, but the, a fridge. There's no fr what, why can't you buy a f fridge? Shall I uh, get one for the live episode? You keep saying this, Jason. That means there is no going back now, you know. know. Once they've been told. What's that you just done there? It's a nervous reaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fridge of fame. I've got some more photos for you, Greg. Um, it's bald button again. No. <laughs> All but's not on again, and thank you for taking that so well. <laughs> that was brilliant. Um, this... And I hope it's not too sore now as well. Oh yeah, so he's going to shave it. Shave his bald butt. Um, this is a uh, fridge of fame, but I had a slight problem with my printer. Why? <laughs> you can't put that on! That, I'll put the actual photo on the screen so they see it with the proper colours. That, actually, Greg, that is uh, a Dan problem. Lydon from Oddpod. Our friend at Oddpod. Hasn't he got long hair? He has, yeah. Wow. Uh, that's one of his school photos that you sent us there, Dan. Uh, you know Dan who's going to give us the firehouse, the Ghostbusters firehouse? Oh, the, the what? Ghostbusters! Firehouse. Oh, bless it. Oh, it's my favourite channel, that is. Thanks very much, Dan. Thanks for that firehouse. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out Oddpod. Uh, that was his school photo, and I'll put the actual one up so you can see it with his actual hair. What actually there. happened here then, Jason? Oh, with your printer? My toner's not mixed properly, I think. But his hair's there. Yeah. Just missed some hair out. It's all right. Uh, next, Greg, we've got one from America. From America. America? Yeah, from a place that I have visited. Visited? <laughs> Vodka down. <laughs> this is Louis from Louisville, Kentucky. Or as I was told when I was there, it's pronounced Louisville. Louisville? Louisville, Kentucky. You went to Kentucky? Uh, yeah. Did you have any chicken? No, I don't think I did. You didn't have any chicken uh, from 
This, look at this, Greg. That's Travis Cox on Christmas Day with his castle grey skull. That's the best picture ever. Ever. Well, because look what he's got. Well done, Travis. Brilliant. I mean, ours is there, isn't it? Just beyond the camera. Yeah, it's not in the box or anything. Oh, wow. I wonder if he's still got it. I would. Have you still got that Castle Grey School, Travis? I would imagine no. So, he, what, is he from England then? No, he's from Louisville, Kentucky. So that was in America? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. I thought He Man was only big over here. No, it was made by an American company. Oh, that's what I meant. Filmation. Yeah, that's what I meant. I thought it was only big over there. Yeah, no. And it's slowly <laughs> over here. Um, so Travis, thanks for that picture, we love it, that's uh, great there with your Masters of the Universe Castle Grey School on Christmas Day. That's awesome picture. Brilliant. Right? Just, I mean, that just says it all, doesn't it? How happy he is. Fantastic. One more for the Fridge of Fame, Greg. This is from one of our uh, long-time viewers. We haven't got a fridge. This is from John Jeffries, who's been with us since the beginning, really, and very often comments on all of our videos and things so thanks for sticking with us John uh, this is John rocking his uh, A-team jumper there yes I had an A-team jumper that had Mr T on it it was grey had uh, Mr T on it the oh, cartoon yeah yeah they're always cartoons weren't they yeah I had the street orc one as well I think don't. you did didn't you we've, yeah we've talked about that before don't, don't, don't. remind us Greg what happened uh, it was my ferry jumper I went down a hill broke my collarbone and the people had to cut it to get to my collarbone and that jumper you're right. It's just, just so many memories, please. Thanks for that, John. Thanks for sending it in. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's Fridge of Fame for this week, Greg. Have we mentioned that we're going live on Saturday the 10th of December? Get the address out. Just, just did it then. Please send us your pictures to tnt at topgoo.com. That's tnt at tnt.com. And what does it not have to be in, Greg? We've done this already, Jason. Capitals. That was the Fridge of Fame. So, 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 you know we like to play games every now and again, Greg, don't we? Grow up. Like Pie Face and Wet Head and all that. Oh, Pie Face. Wet Head. There's a new Pie Face out, by the way. Pie yeah. Face Jewel. You seen that? It's got two face holes and an arm that moves. Well then, that's it, isn't it? What? We're going to have to do it. <laughs> we'll get it. Can we wait till the winter's over, though? Because it's freezing, There's it? There's also that other one called Speak Out, where you've got to put that mouth guard in your mouth. But I don't want to play that because my teeth are terrible. I don't know what you're talking about. You put that mouth guard in, and you've got to shoot with the mouth guard in. Just get the game, mate, Jason. Anyway, we're playing uh, Scribblehead, Greg. What's Scribblehead? Scribblehead is a new game. I'll show you what Scribblehead is. What? <laughs> what Scribblehead, Scribblehead is, is, you have got this headband, that, these clips go on here. It's exciting, isn't it? It's thrilling, this bit, Jason. Do you know when you think to yourself, probably should have done this? before we recorded this section. Do you ever think to yourself we shouldn't have done it ever? That goes, and I'll put one on upside down. Brilliant. Talk amongst yourselves. Here we Can't, go. Good job this isn't live. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look ridiculous. You look like Rambo. Adrian. That's Rocky. Oh, yeah. So then that. Oh, I know what I want to draw on there. Can you, uh, I know what I want to draw on there. Ah! Oh, sorry. Can I draw something on there, Jason? No! Ow! It's not working. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thanks. So then, there's a pile of cards here. Yeah. A pile of cards. You've got, uh, you've got to get the pen. Oh, yeah, you need the pen. You need the pen and the timer. Now, what happens is, what happens is, you get the pen, you get one of these, That's and good, isn't it? on here, there's uh, six things for you to choose from. You can roll a dice to say which one you do, but we're just going to choose. Then you've got to draw that thing on here. Well, I have. No, I have. And then Are you have. I have. Right. And then you have got to guess what it is that I'm drawing. Oh, I mean, this. I mean, think of the thing as you could be watching now on YouTube. And you're watching this. It's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, so it looks like I'm going first, seeing as I've got it on my head. Well, yeah. So I'm going to choose a card. Right, I've got one. When the timer goes, I'm going to start. Go. Sunshine. Yeah! Yeah, but show what that is. Show them how bad that is. What? That's not really a sunshine at all, is it? Well, how did you get it then? Well, because I knew that you can't draw. I love it now. Yeah. <laughs> See how bad that was? Are you going to wipe that now? You're going to use your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See? Can't do that in the live episode. <laughs> You've got to 
big head, haven't you? Oh my god, I've got loads of slack in that. Oh, you've got a massive fat head, you have. It's your turn to pick a card, Greg. You fat head. I have not. For a... Okay, here we go. Uh... <laughs> okay. Have you chosen one? I think so. Okay, let's go. Ready? Go. Where's the board? Come on, Greg, you're running out of time. Kotanga. Yes! <laughs> This game's great! How, how good was that? That's rubbish. Oh, oh hello. Hey, that was brilliant! Oh, it could have been an iron. <laughs> <laughs> or a kite. <laughs> November the 11th, Greg, which is next week, is the day that our Nintendo NES Classic will arrive through the post. What? It's a mini version of this with, I uh, think, 30 games built in. And that is arriving with us on the 11th of November. So oh. guess what is going to be in next week's episode? Um, He-Man figures. Try again. The Sega Master System. Nintendo NES Classic in next week's episode. Right. That is amazing that we've got it. Uh, the date comes out, isn't it? Yeah, I pre-ordered it. Months and months and months ago. So long as if you didn't get here now, we've done all this intro. <laughs> well, we've cut to the bit in the documentary where it goes, we're really sorry, but the NES Classic didn't arrive. It's a documentary. <laughs> That'd be really boring, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Um, anyway, so next week, NES Classic. Uh, don't forget to send us your pictures for the Fridge of Fame, and we will still be preparing for our live episode on the 10th of December. We're actually going to have to rehearse for that one. Yeah, probably. I mean, what, why are we doing it? I don't know. I bet we'll have three viewers. Well, that's mum, dad, <laughs> my wife. No, it doesn't count when they're all round one thing. What? Oh right, well, no. must be on different devices. So, oh, oh, hello. Dog, rock dogs, dogs. Anyway, <laughs> that is all we've got time for because Molly needs feeding. Oh, Molly, it's Molly, isn't it? Yeah, bless her. <laughs>